Hello guys and welcome back to Whispering Willows. We are looking for a girl in the gardens. That's as much as I know. I haven't really worked out anything else past that. We just hope, I'm just gonna hope my necklace like sparkles. Um, somewhere in the gardens. Let's, let's hope. Garden. But it should be somewhere here. Ah. Oh. Little girl. Skyflower. Oh, have you met the white man? Help me pick flowers for him. I need three more flowers to finish my bouquet. Okay. Apparently we're going in here to pick flowers. Garden maze. Yay. <laughs> that does not sound good. Okay. Good to know. So we're looking for a garden maze. Through all the drear, dear, drear of this place, I met a little girl and she was actually happy. She, she just the cutest thing. I like her a lot, maybe even more than Flying Hawk. It makes me sad, though. I don't think she knows she's dead. Her name is Skyflower, and she told me she's gathering flowers for the white man. I miss coming here with mom and dad. I used to pick flowers as a little girl, just like Skyflower. I might help her pick some flowers. Maybe it'll cheer me up some. Oh, I can't go that way. I can't. But I can. Moving the bench. There we go. My hand shakes as I write. This day has been the worst of my life. We met to see the savages to find which rumours provided to be true and which false. Some said they were, vi were as violent folks, white, while others claimed them to be peaceful. I could not say which is true. We waited outside the shaman's teepee while Worthman sought his counsel inside. He was different when he came out. I do not know what it was that I sensed in him, but he has... He was a changed man. He told the men to kill everyone, and they galloped off with grins on their faces. I stayed put. A little girl ran towards us with flowers in her hand. He told me to do it. He said she would grow up to murder my son if they s she said she would grow up to murder to murder my sons if they slept but I could not bring myself to shoot her she got too close for my rifle and he kept yelling at me to just be a man and do it I brought my gun and brought it down upon her she fell to the ground and I knew she was dead I walked to my house and I was sick I stayed out for the rest of the fight that was Flying Hawk. Flying Hawk killed the little girl. Oh my god. <laughs> what is this thing? A bell? A top hat? Maybe? <laughs> I don't know. I'm going this way, apparently. Oh. Oh. Cool. Flower. There was a ghost here. Herbert Mann. You don't want to come my neck. You don't want to, to come my neck of woods. Because you know it's broken and whatnot. In my life I was a comedian. I bet you can guess why I killed myself. Because he wasn't funny? That, that's sad and dark and dreary. Nah, I'm good. Alright, so we have a flower. Two more! Flower picking time! Alright, we're getting deeper and deeper into this maze and it's just creepier and creepier.
male bust. Kind of funny, right? <laughs> door there. Ooh. Oh, this door's locked. Space to go through the door. Nothing is here as of yet. Space to go through the door. Space to go through the door. Space to go through the door. Oh my god, I'm going to get lost. So easily lost. Oh, an angel. The image of that girl yet, ha uh, girl yet haunts me. I feel the need to find some solitude from my axe. I have been looking for any kind, any um, of the Kanteko that may have survived the massacre. I have found some survivors, but Worthman does not know of them. He can never find out that they exist. I am unsure as to what he would do if he found out about them. They are but a loose group, yet they remain. I uh, protrate myself to them, inviting um, their punishment for my misdeeds, but they would have none of it. Instead, they step no, they have instead allowed me to learn about them. The little girl I killed, her name was Skyflower. Why? I do not know, but having a name to place to her brings me some measure of comfort. Uh, when I see her in my dreams, I can call her out by name. Yeah, it's not a bad one. Next door. Another angel. Oh, is it key? garden key. Not bad. Garden key's pretty cool. And the last door. <laughs> She's going like in a systematic pattern. Thorny bush. How am I meant to get rid of that I wonder? Alright so that door is still a red flag for me because I need to work out how to get in there. This key should open up this door. And it did. Weird. Oh no, it's this one. Garden key. Oh my god. Oh, there's a letter. Despite all my troubles, I have managed to find myself a woman. Claire is her name, and I reckon she has to be the prettiest lass in town. Like me, she hails from Ireland, and when we met, we knew it was love. We married just last Tuesday, and neither of us could be happier together. She knows of my past, and she helps me through my terrors in the night. She holds me and tells me everything will be alright. I do not know what I would do without her. She is my reason for living. She is my reason for living anymore. Wow. Alright, so I'll work my way back through that way. <laughs> Going through the doors. Oh god. Door leads out and a door leads in. This maze is chaos. Oh, and another note. We dug a great pit to dump the corpse of savages. Uncivilized folks don't deserve civilized graves, after all. For the traitorous shaman, however, I reserved a special grave. I've allowed his body to rot in the sun while we dug our well. I had burned, I had buried him deep down where not even the worms will reach. We lost only three men in the assault, which any lutecrant in war would consider acceptable. One of the draft ha horses fell through the earth as she pulled a load behind her, behind her. We investigated and found she had fallen into the pit that led into, si into a series of underground caves. I have decided that we shall entomb the dead men there and it will be used as a 
Mayusolen for my estate, for the de dearest Martha, I had a great coffin built at the entrance of the catacomb, so that I may easily come and visit her whenever I choose. The walls of the caves contain veins of possible uh, precious metals, and we will also use it as a foundation for our mining. It will expand in time. This is the beginning of my good fortune. Wow. Uh, I need to cut something with the vines. Okay, so now there's two things that the vines have here. I'm not getting out of this maze like anytime soon. Not gonna happen. I'm gonna get lost in here and die in here and never see never see daylight again. It's gonna be so sad. Oh, I can go through here. <gasps> it's a flower. Floaty flower. Hmm. That was just a floating flower. Bring the flower down. That's mean. Ooh, I've been looking for you. <laughs> Alright, so there's my second flower. What's this way? An angel. Is that it? Oh. Oh, these statues are playing for one another. How neat. Nothing in there. Each one of these has had something. That's the only one that has had nothing. It's kind of weird. Okay. out through the openings. How many more doors are there? I think this is the one with the vines. Yeah, alright, I know where I am. I need to go back through that last door. Go back! Look at that one. Yeah, it's this one. Nope, it's not this one. <laughs> I'm already getting lost in the maze. Try and do this like in a statistic way and everything goes wrong. It's this one. It's this one. Yes. Oh! Woof woof! Uh oh. I gotta chase a dog now. Are you serious? The door there. Let's go through it and see what there is before you follow the woof through the maze. I'll go this way first. Oh. It's the guy with a broken neck. Yes. Alright, I've been here. Oh, I've got to follow the dog, don't I? Why? Why must I follow a dog? <laughs> That's just like asking for trouble. I don't know why, but it just seems like it's asking for so much trouble. I will follow the puppy. Hopefully. No, oh, saying that, my puppy's just come to say hello to me. Where are you going? Woof woof! All the way to the last one? Yeah. You're gonna break the vines for me, aren't you? You're gonna be a good puppy and break vines for me so I can get through! <laughs> He's kinda cute and creepy all at the same time. 
bones. A boned puppy. Hmm. Yeah. Not my thing. You gonna break the vines for me, hon? Oh yeah. Thank you, puppy. What if I say woof? If I if I talk to you now? <laughs> All right, let's crawl and see where I go. It's gonna open like a whole totally new section. I can just guess. Flower. I just get the lost flower. Who's here? Marty Simmons. Why, I'm Marty Simmons. I see you found the, my dog. I have the flowers now. Nice. The only place I don't understand how I get through is there is a vine bit in here. Maybe the girl will give me cutters and I can come back and get lost. I'm gonna give. What if I talk to him now? Oh, woof woof. No. So he's done his job. I've gotta get out of here. I gotta think about how I get out of here. I think it's. Is it this one? No. <laughs> is it this one? No. Is it that one? Mm, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Whoa. What was that? That killed me. And then it let me respawn. I tried again. It's not that way. Alright. That's scary. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Sneak around so I don't die. I'm so dead. And I died. Oh, come on, this is annoying. Oh, come on. It's not fair. Oh, I got out of that one somehow. I think it's this way. I don't know. I'm just gonna hop all the way. I know what that way is. It's this way. So many doors. Oh, no. <laughs> no. You didn't get me this time. Mwahaha. Am I free? Is that another one? Oh, got him. I got out of there safely, little girl. Here you go. Flower power. Take your flowers. We have a bouquet now. Let's bring it to the white man. I know he will cheer him up. I take it that's the one that's dead. I don't know. I'm gonna go take it to the white man when I can work out who the white man is. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.